It's occurred to me that I've never done a video on Viking Age panpipes. So here we are. This is a replica of the Jorvik panpipe. Very small, uh, not nothing spectacular. Some nice little holes there. This replica was made for me by Mario Viking on Etsy. It's really, really nice and is tuned in the original key, which I will discuss shortly. The pipe that was found uh, was discovered at Coppergate in York. Hence its name, the Jorvik panpipe. It was dates to the late 9th early 10th century, uh, it was found in the Viking layer um, in York, as archaeologists call it. The original was made of boxwood, so at that time in the early medieval period, um, a very rich instrument, interestingly. The most interesting thing about this, though, is its tuning. When the archaeologists did their work, they found it to be an A, B, C, D, E, which of course had to be deliberate. The holes were bored out uh, and filled with beeswax to achieve these notes. So in the study of Viking Age music, this is a really, really important instrument. It shows that tunings were understood uh, and that they could be achieved. Um, and tunings that we, we would still recognize today. The original was fragmented on one side, so it's possible that there was up to seven holes. This seven hole version I got from the, uh, the gift shop at Roskilde Viking Ship Museum. Now, I was never very good at playing these. Uh, they do require a lot of breath. Since COVID, um, I have even less breath than before. But I will, of course, give you a sound sample. So very high pitched, very shrill. Um, I hope your ears are okay after that, sorry. Uh, the original was, was like that, actually. I'll give you a sound sample of this, this seven hole one. Yep, not a comfortable instrument for me to play anymore, but good fun, very noisy, uh, good to display at, uh, at the Viking Society shows that I do. There it is, the Orvik Panpipe.